Rose Creek mother is celebrating the life of her daughter, whose death investigation still goes unsolved. Ten years later, Ariel Morgan was shot and killed while attending a block party on Tish Lane in Berkeley County, and deputies say gunfire broke out and Ariel was caught in the crossfire where she was killed. Artiana Maxwell spoke with her mother, who works to honor her daughter's life, and she joins us live from Stratford High School, where Ariel graduated from. So, Tiana, tell us how she's going to be remembered, particularly this year. Selby, I'm outside of Stratford High School, where 10 years ago, 19-year-old Ariel Morgan graduated from as a cheerleader with friends who loved her. Kendra Stevens is her mother and tells me that this unsolved case will not stop her from moving forward like Ariel would have wanted. I had to give it to God. I really did. I had because that's the only way for me to go on for my life. I still have a son and I, it really wasn't fair to my son to lose myself up into it, up into this, you know, and and I think and I know Ariel will want me to move on in life. In 2014, shots were fired by an unknown person at a block party where mother Kendra Stevens says Ariel was not the target. Even now, 10 years later, Berkeley County authorities say the case goes unsolved because of the lack of tips from the community. The community knows more about Ariel's murder than the, than the police. You know, that thing called the no snitch code, mm. you know, that is what has blocked Ariel's murder. Since then, Stevens worked to keep her daughter's name alive through education. Stevens formed a scholarship fund one month after Ariel's death at Stratford High School. The funds award $500 to students. I give kids a $500 scholarship and sometimes if I raise enough money, I might give the young, the young lady or young man a, a additional funds such as a laptop and school supplies to help them. Stevens does not stop there. This weekend, she will host a Princess Ariel Morgan Day at the high school to promote awareness of senseless gun violence with a grief counselor for needed therapy. Go learn the laws of guns, learn the laws of what what happens if you shoot the gun and, sh and mistakenly kill a person. You know, I think they just need to learn the laws in itself, period. Stevens tells me that if there's one thing that she can tell families is to love on your children as tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow, the community will meet here at the high school to honor Ariel from 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. In Goose Creek, Tiana Maxwell, Life 5 News.